Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well. I'm a little bit fuming right now because I had intentions to basically film a little section of this vlog driving with me to this meeting that I've got now for filter, but I am sorry, I just ordered another car tripod because I managed to misplace my other one. And this piece of apparatus, like, is mind-boggling. I cannot work out how to use it. I can't work out how to stick it to my window. But anyway, unfortunately, I can't film the little drive with me segment that I wanted to, but I just wanted to say good morning. Hello, it's a new day. Uh, my first vlog back on my channel since having a baby. Um, I'm feeling really, really good today. I've been to the gym already. It's 10 to 10. Um, we've had a busy morning. Tommy is watching Bambi today, and I have a really busy day out in town. Um, I've got a really exciting meeting for Fields by Molly May. We've got like a brand new team for filter and um, we've actually got like a full scale team now we've been employing we've been recruiting and filter is there's big things coming for filter this year and i feel really like re-motivated i just thought today would be a good day to pick up the camera start vlogging again keep it nice and chilled um and yeah just see what we get up to and i'll probably vlog over the next couple of days because i'm not sure if i'm going to get enough today for one vlog but i'll just show you guys what i get up to over the next couple of days get bambi in the vlog oh my gosh i've just realized actually i've just forgot to pack tampons i've come with my period today and um, this isn't actually my first period it's my second period I'm actually so annoyed because there were so many things i wanted to talk to you guys about whilst I was driving, I was like, that'll be the perfect opportunity to do it, but we'll have to maybe do it later when I get home. Um, even though I was breastfeeding, I still had a period, which I was going to tell you guys about because that's kind of the reason why I had to bring my breastfeeding journey to a close, to a, to a close to an end. Um, I exclusively breastfed for six weeks. Um, I've had so many questions about it. Um, but yeah, I managed to get to six weeks, which I was really, really proud of. I didn't think I'd get that far. Um, but basically, when you're, not, when you're breastfeeding, you're not actually meant to have a period. I don't really know the science behind it. And I came on my period whilst I was breastfeeding so that was kind of an indicator to me that the breast, I wasn't producing enough milk. Basically, my milk supply just completely dried up. Um, Bambi was like literally sucking on my nipple when nothing was coming out, bless her. And she was just getting so upset. I'm talking about nipples and boobs and breastfeeding whilst I'm literally late for this meeting. So I'm going to pop the camera down now, get to this meeting. I am so, so, so happy to just be sat in the car right now with my camera vlogging. It feels so good. I'm starting to feel glimpses of my old self just like creeping back through. And oh my God, it just feels so good. The gardener is in the front garden right now looking at me like, what is this girl doing? Like she's literally having a conversation with herself in the car. I probably just want to, yeah, I just sleep book out the whole day. Could we do a half day on the first day and then do a full day on the second day? Charge two days. Two days. Oh yeah, obviously, because yeah, they would apply it themselves. Oh yeah. I'm now out of the filter meeting. I've grabbed some lunch in town. I had some tomato soup from Pret. I forgot to vlog that. And now, oh, there it is. Unreal, okay. Um, basically, I am trying to find this place in town. Well, I've found it now. But I promised my friend Anuska that I would get her this drink um, from a place called Chatime. Cha Chatime? I think it's like, it's the bubble tea. Um, so she was like, can you grab me one from town? And she lives like literally two seconds away from me. So I said, yes. Where am I going to park? No, nope. where am I going to park? I'm going to get clamped. Okay. No parking then. That's unreal. I don't want to get clamped today. Right, I'm parked up. Also, it looks like it's a different day because I've changed jackets, but I just had to get a quick picture, obviously. I also haven't told you guys yet, but I'm literally a bridesmaid for, bridesmaid for Fran's wedding in less than eight weeks. We're going to Barbados. Um, I'm so excited, but also... <laughs> It was about time that I um, started to eat and train a little bit like I'm a bridesmaid in eight weeks because I really haven't been. And that's absolutely fine because I've literally just had a baby and I'm absolutely not putting any pressure on myself whatsoever. I really wanted to try one of these chat time things, but I'm sticking to this meal plan right now and I'm actually trying to be really good. More so for the fact that I know I'm going to feel pants in Barbados if I don't just start to like not diet or anything, but just eat a little bit cleaner and cut out all the rubbish that I have literally been consuming for basically the last year now, like the whole way from my pregnancy. And since Bambi's been here, I've not watched what I've ate whatsoever. Secured the goods, that's 
my good friend deed for the day done. Hopefully it doesn't spill on the way to her. I do need to get home to my child because I've been out for quite a while. Quite a bit longer than I expected to be, but it's all good. Hello. We are back home with little Miss Bambolina. We have just had bath time. We've just had a bottle and hopefully you're going to go to sleep for me now or are we going to stay up for a little bit? I'm finding now that um, she's 10 weeks now. <gasps> I said to be fair, it has gone really, really quick. Like the 10 weeks has gone really, really quick, but also she does feel 10 weeks old now. I can't explain it. How many times a day do you think I kiss you? Do we think a million? Is it a million? I can't help it. It's a condition. Seven o'clock is when bedtime kind of starts and she has like her bedtime bottle. And um, then she has another one at 11. And then after 11 o'clock is when we try and get our night's sleep, um, which at the minute is going a lot better. Like we're definitely getting more sleep now. Um, when I say more sleep, I'd say I'm, I'm probably getting about four hours. Sometimes, I think I'd probably say get four or five hours a night at the minute. And not that this is interesting for everyone, I, I do apologise, but she's going from 11pm now until 7am in the morning with no milk, no feed. Um, but she's waking up all throughout the night and I just have to keep resettling her because she's waking up now like, hello, I want some milk. And I'm like, hello, no, you're not having milk now because um, around this time as well, roughly around this time is when they drop um, like feeding in the night. Well, it's different for every baby, but for her, we're just trying to encourage that. So just to touch on what I mentioned in the car as well with my breastfeeding journey, um, because I get so many, so many questions about it. Um, yeah, I exclusively breastfed Bambi for six weeks, um, which I am actually proud of. I didn't know how breastfeeding was gonna go um, for me, and I didn't put any pressure on myself with it. My supply, unfortunately, completely and utterly gave up on me. Like. I'm talking the poor baby was literally trying to breastfeed off me and was getting nothing. I was messaging my friends that also breastfeed saying like, how long on average does a normal breastfeed, like a breastfeeding session or like a feed take for you to do? They were like anywhere from like, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes to like you know, half an hour. And our feeds were actually taking two hours. They were taking, she was literally latched onto my boob for two hours at a time to get one feed. And then sometimes even after that two hours of being latched, um, after that feed was done, she still wouldn't have got enough. And then like half an hour later, she'd be crying for more. So it got to the point where she was literally latched onto my boob just constantly because the poor girl couldn't get any milk out and she was just so unhappy all the time. I lowered the breastfeeding um, very, very gradually so that I didn't get really, really sore boobs and get mastitis and get like all the clogged up milk ducts and stuff. And I didn't have any pain when I stopped breastfeeding. Like I did it super gradually. I kept pumping for a while um, and then I just completely brought it to a close. And yeah, that was the end of our breastfeeding journey. But I was really, really proud, like I said, to do six weeks. Like that was an achievement for me. I'm just gonna sit on the sofa now for a while, have some much needed cuddles because I've missed her today. It's been so, it's actually been so nice to get out of the house and just do little bits for me, like go to that filter meeting. I don't know, have a wander around Chinatown, go and see my friend. Um, it's been actually so, so nice today. And I think doing things for me is like the key to um, feeling good and keeping my mental health like balanced and positive. And I definitely, definitely gradually, like I said this morning, starting to feel a little bit more myself. Um, and I already feel like I've come on leaps and bounds since that last video that I posted, which by the way, when I posted that video, I really, really didn't, I don't know, even know what I was thinking. I wasn't even going to post it. And then I literally just sat and Bambi was asleep and I just had the chance to edit it. And I just edited it together. And I literally messaged my sister saying, I'm just going to post this. Like, I don't even care. It was 11 o'clock at night when I posted it. And I was just, I'm just literally going to get this up and just post something. And then, I don't know, it's been, it's been quite spoken about, um, the video. <laughs> lots of different opinions about it. Lots of people saying different things. Mainly so much love and support and like appreciation from a lot of you for me posting it because a lot of you have been feeling the same thing or have been going through the same thing and kind of wanted someone online to maybe talk about the how they were feeling and like the actual reality of it. One thing with me guys that you know you're always going to get is the truth. Um, I am the world's worst liar. When I'm lying you would literally be able to read it all over my face and yeah, there was just something that, like, how I was feeling and what I've been going through and just, I don't know, just 
becoming a mum, like, it's not something that I could sit there and lie about and say, like, I found it a certain way when I haven't. I appreciate all of you guys. Like, you are honestly just... Oh, I just love you all so much. Like, this platform for me, like, YouTube, you guys know how much I adore it and how much I adore you guys. And I just feel... It sounds so cringy, and I don't want to be, like, that cringy person on YouTube, but I just feel, like, really connected to you all. And I just... When I read the comments, I'm like, gosh, like, this audience is so, 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 so different to my audiences on my other platforms because you guys actually care and you actually care about my feelings and I don't know like it's just different that she is staying asleep until her next bottle but a girl can dream a girl can literally dream so yeah i think i'm just literally gonna tidy up the house a little bit even though it's not too bad today it's actually quite tidy i actually feel quite i feel like sorry have i got myself together is the kitchen actually looking tidy also i bought myself um so I had one of these Neom diffusers already, but I had the small version, but I actually treated myself to the larger version. It's run out of water right now, so there's no steam coming out of it. But oh my gosh, honestly, this is just my favorite thing ever. When I have this on in the house and the kitchen is tidy and I put my oils in there, which I've got a lemongrass one, and I'm obviously still loving my Spa Restore from the White Company. Um, oh, there's just no better feeling when I have this on when the kitchen is clean. It literally makes the house feel like a spa. I did say it wouldn't last, didn't I? <laughs> she's got, um, bless her, she's got a really bad trapped wind at the minute. And um, it's causing a lot of problems for us, isn't it? Yeah, that's okay. I like winding is one thing that I really had um, no idea about and I had no idea of the importance of with having a newborn and having a baby. Like winding is literally a key part like such a key part to their routine and like w the winding part of having a bottle is just as important as having the bottle because if you don't wind properly or the baby doesn't get their wind up properly like she hasn't it can really cause problems for the baby and it can really give them a really sore belly can't it bam bam my back. are you dressed up as ellie belly are you dressed up the same as ellie belly she looks like a little boy are you going to get a burp now? Are we going to get a nice burp out? Oh. We have to try and make sure we really get the burps out because otherwise we're in a bit of a pickle, aren't we? Good morning, guys. I am sorry I didn't close the vlog off in the last section. Um, we literally just settled Bambi down and went to bed. It's a couple of days later now um, and I'm actually on my way to my first PLT fitting since having Bambi and oh my gosh I am a little bit nervous not gonna lie fittings were something that I found a little bit nerve-wracking before I had a baby um so yeah having my first fitting with my new body it's gonna be an experience and yeah I'm a little bit nervous about it to be completely honest I'm not going to lie to you guys my body has changed humongously hum humongously hum hugely my body's changed hugely since having bambi um when i look in the mirror i'm like not even in a bad way like it's actually like i look in the mirror and i don't i i don't hate my new body at all but it's just like a completely different body like my hips i mean i'm just saying sometimes it kind of looks like I've had a BBL. I'm like my hips have literally, and not but not necessarily in a good way. But sometimes I do make jokes saying like I've got a BBL buddy now because it's just because my hips, like my lip, my hips are literally so much wider now, which is absolutely fine, and I actually don't even hate it at all. Like it's just it's me now. I'm I'm learning to love it. Um, I know it sounds really cringy, but I am learning to love it, and I'm learning to like accept it. But anyway, I've got my first PLT fitting now. My camera is literally about to start. I've got a new battery pack which I'm going to pop in. Um, but yeah, I thought we could just spend the day together again today and see what we get up to. I didn't even realise 
realised that the renovations, I'm so going to get copyrighted for this music. The renovations on the new PRT HQ in Manchester have finished and I am literally speechless. It is absolutely unreal. I can't do too much talking here because of the music. But I am literally in shock. It's, it's like so, 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 so different to what it was before. I'm going to show you guys. Honestly, this is unrecognisable. Like, I'm literally in shock. No one told me that it was like basically nearly finished. So we came in and I literally thought it was just going to look like a building site, like normal. <laughs> And it looks a joke. I was gonna do a little time lapse of me trying on all of these pieces, but you actually would have just seen me naked half the time, so that wasn't really a smart idea. Uh, but here we have my next edit, which we are traveling to Nice to shoot. I've never actually been to the south of France before. I've never been to Nice. I've never been anywhere in France like that. So I'm really, really excited. I've always, always wanted to go to the south of France to shoot a PLT collection and it's finally happening. So these are the pieces here that we are shooting. We've got 20 looks um, and the it wasn't too bad actually it definitely wasn't um, as scary as I anticipated I actually don't feel too bad at all also this is my little outfit of the day these Bottega boots have literally been the best designer item like designer investment I've ever ever bought and I've just got on black leggings these are actually still maternity leggings and also if you ever see me wearing jeans at the minute as well I'm still wearing my maternity jeans um, and I've got on this PRT black blazer this is a Cole Buxton white t-shirt and then yeah my little Chanel black bag I don't know why I just gave you a little half of the day there but yeah it feels so good to be back and like I say the transformation of the PLT um offices is insane I walked in I was I literally gasped I was I was literally in shock it looks so unreal out there it feels really really good to be back and I'm really really excited to be like back just doing little bits for me again um I, I just can already feel like I said to you guys the other day like it just I can already feel myself coming back and doing things like this and just like coming to do bits of work, coming to do fittings, like coming for meetings, like it makes such a difference to my mental health because then going back home to Bambi and going back home to being a mum, you feel like ready to do it ag again because you've had a little bit of a break and you've like, well, it's not necessarily a break because you're working. In my opinion, I think raising a newborn and having a baby is actually harder than anything else. <laughs> In my opinion, I'm missing her so much today. I can't stop thinking about her. I cannot wait to get home and give her the biggest cuddle even though I've literally only been out of the house for like two hours now. I've got one more meeting and then I am going straight back home. Guys, I'm literally trembling there is this grizzly terrifying bear in the back of Tommy's car before anyone says she's not meant to be in a pram suit in her car seat I know but we're literally going where we're going for a walk is virtually two seconds down the road and I'm sat in the back with her she's not going to overheat um I'm watching her very very closely we've only put her in our pram suit already just because the car journey is so so short but yeah so we're heading off on a little walk now it has actually just started raining though but we've packed the rain cover for the pram. I'm sat in the back with Bambi. I used to be a passenger princess and now I am a backseat princess. Do you miss me sitting in the front with you? Not really. <laughs> How did I know you were going to say that? When she sits in the front guys, she's a very nervous passenger. No I'm not. Oh, 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 wait, stop. Me. I'm not a nervous passenger, it's just Tommy's a very, very, very confident driver, so you just like, you're a little bit risque sometimes. It's just actually fully started raining. Are we are we realising that? Yeah. That we've just decided to go on a walk. I don't think we're no, going to. Be able to. Fair, if we put her rain cover on. Yeah, and what about us, babe? Oh, yeah. That's what happens when you become parents. You literally only think about the baby, you don't even think about yourself anymore. <laughs> Dun and Massey. Do you know one thing about Dun and Massey, which I think is really quite funny and quite cute, is that before we had Bambi, even before I was pregnant, I always used to take videos of the deers in Dun and Massey because it's like a big, um, it's like a big nature reserve here, and there's loads of wild deers running about, like all like the big ones, like proper antlers and everything. It's literally unreal. And I used to take videos and pictures of the deers here and post them on my story, just because I don't know. We always knew that one day when we had a baby girl. She would be well, called book, that's it, that's Bambi. Ticket. That was a really boring story, wasn't it? Sorry, guys. Stop, uh, stop. I don't know. Ask. I do, mate. You all right? Um, it's, there's two of us and a baby. Yeah, two of us and a baby. Yeah. Two adults will be 17 pounds and that wheelchair garden tickets as well. All right, perfect. Um, mate, it's all right. It's all right. Cheers, mate. We're going to go back. Thanks, I'll call you. <laughs> Please, I'll park around the corner and get him for free. Please. Come park around the corner and get him for free. Okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> 17 pound each, get on. Please, I will pay 17 pound each. See you later. Babe, we've never, ever, ever paid to come into Dunham Massey, ever. Never. 
ever. Basically, we always go to Dunham Massey for a walk, but we never ever park in the car park. We just park on this like bit of road. Um, but because we have Bambi and we're coming here with Bambi for the first time, we're like, oh, we'll go to the car park just because we're getting the pram out and stuff. But they've just tried to say it's 17 pounds. But how come if you if you don't, I'm really confused, babe, because how come then if you park on the road and you go into Dunham Massey, it's free. If you use the car park, you have to pay to use Dunham Massey. You don't have to pay for, because I thought you'd have to pay for the car park, but using the park is free. So park. have we been committing fraud I every single- Literally, we're here now, we're at the other car parking spot, Ooh. and it's going to be absolutely free. We need to find a good space where we can get the pram out. Yeah, also, we did just look like complete and utter cheapskates. I don't care. No, do you know what it is? It's not all he was at like 17 pounds and Tommy went, yeah, I think we're just actually going to go. Oh, perfect, we'll go here. No, it's the principle of it though. Like, I'm not paying £17 when I can give it for free. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> We've drove from the car park because he wanted 150000 to get in the Dunham Massey. It's took me two minutes to drive around the corner to this next location and we're going to walk in Dunham Massey for absolutely zero. Yeah, but I don't know if we should be promoting this because is that a lot? We've done that for literally three years. No, but I don't understand that. Like, Have we been committing fraud that whole time? Like, Do you actually have to pay to go into Dunham Massey? No, because there's literally a gap in the fence yeah. that you walk through. No, it's not a gap in the fence. It's an open walk. It's, to go yeah, in. it's a gate that's open. Yeah, that everyone goes through. We all go through it. So how come don't people that go through that gate you get it for free, but the people that go through the car park have to pay £17? I don't understand. Also, he went, under fives go for free. Well, I should flipping hope so for 17 numbers. Everybody should go for free, it's a field. Well, I'm signing out because I'm getting, I'm getting stressed. <laughs> Entrance. Something very, very exciting has just happened before. So today we are actually booking our first ever family holiday and we're going to Dubai. We just know Dubai well and we have a favourite hotel out there which we absolutely love. We didn't actually stay at that hotel on our baby moon and we massively regretted it. And we know the room set up, we know where we can go. Like just for our first holiday with Bambi, we just wanna play it a little bit safe. And then once we've done our first one, then I feel like yeah. we'll feel more confident to go out and do more. First like big thing we've done. Yeah. I think the first holiday with a baby is quite a big deal, isn't it? And yeah. the part I'm probably most nervous about is the packing. Oh my God, you can see the deer over there. Can you see? Yes, babe. There's like a proper herd. Oh, Bambi, there's lots of Bambis over there. There's lots of little Bambis. Maybe they'll welcome her as sister. <gasps> Maybe they'll welcome you into the herd as the baby. Oh, it's pretty surreal actually, because like I say, I've actually come walking here for like three years now. Every time I used to come here, I used to look at the deers and think, oh, Bambi, oh, because it was always Bambi. So yeah, it was, it was always Bambi. I don't mind swinging by Costa after this. Yeah. And get a little hot chocky or something. Good morning. Bright and early this Friday morning. We are just about to get changed. We've just had a bottle. Just gone 7 a.m. We've just had our first bottle of the day. Haven't we, Chunky Monkey? Oh, yes, we have. Yes, we have. Yes, we have. We're going to pick out an outfit. Oh, my God. I realised you're just literally looking through into the hallway at a severe amount of mess. Um, that is actually still stuff from my baby shower, which I am yet to sort through. That is severe unorganization, but yeah, the hallway's just been full of stuff. Like literally from when she was born, from my baby shower, just like so many sweet gifts that people have got that I've opened, but I just need to sort into her room. But anyway, should we pick her an outfit? So just to be completely realistic about what happens normally at this time in the morning. So seven o'clock is when Bambi's first feed is and when we kind of hope that she wakes up for her. Yeah. Um, oh, you talking to them? That's when her first bottle is. And then after that, um, she normally stays awake for about an hour and then goes down for another nap. And realistically, as the parent, that's kind of probably when I should 
get up and start my day and get myself ready but sometimes what I find happens is when she goes down for that first nap I actually catch up on sleep if I've not had much sleep the night before so I normally get like an extra hour or two hours in whilst are you listening to me <laughs> whilst she's napping um but today I actually feel quite good um she was up actually a lot in the night but I actually don't feel too tired today I feel okay and it's a lovely day outside it's so sunny um so I think when she goes down for her first nap maybe I might be that productive parent and actually get up shower and start my day I think today because we're all together and we don't really have anything on we're gonna maybe go to a nice farm shop or we're gonna go for a nice drive we might go we could go to the beach even though we did go to the beach the other day didn't we we did go to the beach the other day all right, let's go get out of your pajamas. You need to wear before you grow out of it. Let's see what we've got going on. Um, let's change. Oh, no, I've already changed your nappy. I've, already, I've just changed your nappy, haven't I? He's smiling at me. Oh, you've got a bogey. You've got a big, ginormous bogey up that nose. Do you think I'll be able to reach that? Mm. And she's got a bogey up her nose that I can see but I can't reach to pick it out. It's literally like having a scratch that you can't itch. It is... Are you smiling at me? Are you smiling at me? Are you? Shall we get you changed? Also, it's so... God, it's so stay with me. It's so annoying because I've got these really, really cute little baby grows, um, like vests, that I need to put her in ASAP because she's going to grow out of them. But they have the days of the week on in French, but obviously I, I don't know French. I know... Lundi, Mardi, Mercredi, no, I can't even put that out because that is that. I literally sound like a freak trying to speak French. Lundi, Mardi, Mercredi, Jeudi. Jeudi? Jeudi, does that sound right to you? Dimanche, Dimanche, Dimanche is Sunday. Lundi is Monday. Lundi, Mardi. No, I sound like I'm literally the most British person ever trying to speak French. That is really quite embarrassing. What you can see there is her Easter Sunday outfit and basket <gasps> all prepped and ready to go. I mean, I'm going to fill this with little chocolate eggs even though she can't have them. But I'll show you the little Easter outfits while she's cooperating. Look! Oh, look at it! I mean, I know she's not going to remember this first Easter at all. She probably won't remember the next, obviously, the next few Easters either. But also got her this. You guys are gonna probably say, oh, sad little beige baby, but I think it's really cute. Rubber ducky, you're the one. You make that time lots of fun. Quack, quack. Rubber ducky, I am awfully fond of you. Scooby doop doop. Boop, boop. Hey. Boop, boop. Oh, Bambi. Boop, 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 boop. Chip, chip. We are back out on another adventure, reporting in from... Okay, silence. Chester. <laughs> We're reporting in from Chester. And some of you won't know this, but uh, my dad has actually just recently moved to Chester with his wife, Carla. So we have been coming to Chester quite a bit recently. It's actually such a beautiful place. There's a hill. Yeah, it's been fine. Come on, up you go. Looks like the trousers and my shoes have an argument. <laughs> what? So it looks like the trousers and the shoes are about an argument. Tommy said it looks like his trousers and his shoes are about an argument. I've never heard that before, but that's actually hilarious. Well, because you've got jack ups, is that what it means? No, because they're halfway up my legs. Yeah, jack ups, is that what it's called? No, they're not jack ups, up. They are jack ups, mate. Hey, up, Tom. Hey, up, brother. So, yeah, we've been coming to Chester quite a bit. Excuse my extremely dry lips. I did ask Tommy to get me a lip balm from the petrol station, but he came out without it. So today is actually Easter Sunday and when you saw me this morning it wasn't Easter Sunday. Um, I'm still going to include that little section though because it was cute but yeah today is Easter. Lots of people on this bridge are getting a little bit embarrassed but I'm going to... You should be. <laughs> I'm pushing through my fear of pub vlogging in public guys, I hope you're proud of me. Um, What's up? I'm just going to clean my camera lens. This is a good opportunity for me to clean my camera lens. So yeah, today is Easter Sunday. And the last part of this vlog you saw me would have looked like it was this morning. But to be completely honest, it wasn't. Oh, yeah, I just keep walking down here for a minute. My dad's at a pub um, with some other family members and we're walking to find him. But what we didn't realise is it's like a half an hour walk and my uh, fitness... Should have yeah, we should have parked, shouldn't we? Hey, what is this? 
Give me, give, me the sat na where uh, send, give me the satellite navigation because you don't know where you're going. Where on earth are we walking to? Oh, it's called the 7A Lower Ground Road. Easter Sunday today, this morning. Dave, you've said it's Easter Sunday a million times. What have we done this morning? We've been to church. We Bambi's went to had a blessing off the priest. Yeah. I've had my Holy Communion, or so has Molly. Well, yeah, I had the bread. Is that what had a Holy Communion is? Holy Communion, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, so we went to church with Tommy's family, and I didn't. We went to church. We went to church. church. We went to church. We went to church with Tommy's family, um, and then we've yeah driven to Chester to come meet my dad. And um, we're going to go for a nice roast dinner, even though that's not really on my meal plan. But some really nice houses around here. I bet they're expensive as well in this area. Lovely houses, really really nice. Is this a joke? Dad, I'm so confused. Why? We're in the, we've walked to your location, but we're in the middle of a housing estate. The boat house? No, Dad, literally, we're in the middle of a no, housing estate. No, this is right, this is right, show him. Uh, that's... Okay, you are, that's not the boat house, so where... No, where show him you? that. Are you going across the bridge? Yeah! Come back across the bridge. Oh, Fine. you're joking! I'll, go, I'll come and find you, come back across the bridge. Oh... Guys, we went the wrong way. I knew this didn't feel right. We were suddenly in the heart of Chester City Centre and then we've come to a, a road with houses on. In the distance there, you can see my father coming to rescue us with his dog. <laughs> oh. How are you doing, mate? He's so beautiful. Oh. How are you doing? All good? Yeah, you right? All good, mate, all good. Hey, good boy, good boy. You little boy. Thank you. Like this. Thank you, I've got chewing gum all over it. No! Yeah, I, I managed to spit my chewing gum out onto my jacket and it got stuck and then onto Bambi's outfit so she had to get changed. Oh, I know. Okay. Got it under control, baby, dog. <laughs> it's all going on. Do excuse the state of me, guys. I look half dead. Because I am, really. I am just because I am. It's been a very long day. This is also a different day to when I last vlogged. I am definitely going to have to slowly get myself back into the hang of vlogging remembering to close things off i mean i've never been particularly good at that anyway so i'm not act gonna act like now because i've had a baby i've become bad i've always been bad at that but now i'm like extra bad anyway guys i'm just jumping on quickly to close this vlog off it's been a very hickledy pickledy mi mishmash vlog but i hope you guys have enjoyed it anyway my first one back and there's gonna be many more to come comment down below what videos you'd like to see from me and what content you'd like me to bring you if you made it to the end of this video i love you millions and hopefully i will see you all in my next one bye guys